last week we have made it and decided tunafanya baada hii tunaimaliza exactly one bana Yesu asifiwe sana na hiyo ndio maangano tunataka kumwambia Mungu nayo because God has spoke to us many things so the month of September ni mwezi wa kukumbukwa na Mungu before Esther chapter number 6 nataka tu keep your finger there and Genesis chapter number 8 Genesis chapter number 8 Genesis chapter number 8 Mwanzo sura yake ya nane The Bible says but God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock that were with him in the ark and he sent the wind over the earth and the water receded and the water receded chapter number 9 chapter number 9 the same chapter number uh, sorry 8 and then before we go to chapter number 9 and bible says verses number 20 then Noah being an altar to the Lord and take some of the clean animals and the clean birds and sacrifice burnt offerings on it and the Lord smelled the pressing aroma and said in his heart never again I will curse the ground because of man even though every inclination of his heart is evil from childhood let me mark that word I want you to mark that word. Never again I'll cast the ground because of man even though every inclination of his heart is evil from childhood. Never again would I destroy all the living creature as I have done. Translation ya kugani. John ya kugani. The same. Steve ya kugusa. Thank you. Abu ni lwa ntaka. That the capacity of man and as I said again open um, Jeremiah chapter number 48:10. Jeremiah chapter number 48 was number 10 as you keep your finger in the book of Esther chapter number 6 Jeremiah when we read last Sunday and as I told you niambia kwamba this is the month to be remembered by God hii ni mwezi wa kukumbukwa na Mungu wa milele Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana I know there are many things you have been bypassed Many things, many areas, many spheres oh my God, I passed. But this month by the grace of God you shall be remembered. I say you shall be remembered. I say you shall be remembered. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. You shall be remembered. Lazima Mungu akukumbuke. Unasikia sio? Haina shida. You can be in a place for a long time. But when the time ya Mungu tu ikifika na si eti Mungu anachelewaga wala Mungu anakawia Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. To us we are impatient. Hebu soma soma Jeremiah 48:10. Mwisho. Ufungua. 48:10. The other translation says curse is a man that who does the work of God deceitfully. Kiswahili nasema ambelaaniwa afanyaye kazi ya Mungu kwa madharau. Kwa nini? Ai. Yameni sema kwa sauti. Ambelaaniwa afanyaye kazi ya Mungu kwa madharau. 
Hiyo ndio nasema. Now Esther chapter number 6 verses number Sad verse number 1 ni sita isoma yote na uka tu. The Bible says that night the king could not sleep. He ordered the book of chronicles the record of his reign to be brought in and read to him. It was found recorded that Mordecai had exposed Bigethana and Teresi, two of the king's officers who guarded the door, who had conspired to assume the king access. The Bible says and the king asked what honor and the recognition as Mordecai received for this. The king asked nothing has been done for him is attended asked bana hizo sio sana leo ninataka nisungumuze na wewe before our preacher comes to speak to us in the next service ni kuendelea ni kuambie kukumbuka kila mtu aliye chini ya jua kuna watu wamemkwaza katika njia moja au nyingine bana hizo sio sana yani sometimes uko katika a very hardest transition huko katika usito wa maisha that time you expect wale marafiki walio karibu wakukumbuke si ni kweli na ndio nataka uelewe ya kwamba ninataka ufahamu ya kwamba don't be offended by god for taking time bana hizo sio sana god does not take time mungu achukuaje muda wewe ndio unachua muda Mungu anaya time, Mungu arakishwaji na kuja kujali polepole. Misile tunaonaga masaa inakwisha kuniana na sisi. Unaona ni saa moja asubuhi, saa 12 ndio hiyo masaa inaenda. But did you know my the God has no evening and morning in his calendar. That's what the Bible says, one day before the Lord is like a thousand years. And a thousand years is like one day before the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bali ko inasema, "Nu, Mungu ndiye alimfungia because Biblia inasema kwamba akakuja akamfungia kwa safina for protection ya kwamba maji isiingie." Bana jo sio sana. Kuna vitu Mungu anafanya katika maisha sometimes unaona kama amechelewa. Let me give you this testimony eh uh, Wasinde. Na nimeitoa mara nyingi sana naitoa kwa heshima ya Mungu na it's part it is part and parcel of my life. When I was 24 years old nimeokokea nikawa na shughuli ya kujifanya ninataka kuoa. Sina nyumba, sina kazi, sina chochote niko tu hivi. Na nimeona marafiki zangu wote vijana tuliokuwa na wao. This one boy when inspired alikuwa anaitwa Moses. So Moses got married. And then another guy who alikuwa amehubiri hapa siku nyingine openda. He also got married. We have the same age. Na sasa wao walipoa katika hiyo period pastor akaanza kutufanyia county anauliza usimama hivi na nyinyi mtazeeka mtaoa lini mtafuata hawa lini na saa ingine pressure ya marafiki zako inaweza kukufanya ukase na mtupashike na Mungu si kweli ah marafiki wakikuangalia watu wakikomment yako unaweza kuashika na Mungu na when you are offended by God you extend what God was supposed to have done even in one week ukikwasika na Mungu na sio mara moja hata mimi nimeshakwasika na Mungu maana baada ya kukataliwa na wadada wengi walikuwa wanakataa kuolewa na wewe that had a good reason how can you marry a man who has no house a man who has no job a man who has no future even does not know even where he come from a man who does not even understand where he does not have even a single relative a father or a mother at least he can introduce ni msichana gani atapata hiyo courage basinde una kazi una nyumba ha 
hauna wazazi hauna watu sasa unataka mtongozane town kwa stage umwambie unakuoa naweza enda kuishi nyumba yako unakaa kwa imani na unajua ile story ya imani and you get so offended so all these guys got married everybody got married ile hiyo was progressing every time the pastor could stand on the pulpit the first thing he would say anazama wengine wadazekea hapa wengine wadakuwa professional kusimamia harusi na kumbuka nilikuwa nimesimamia harusi ya pastor Karanja na huyo pastor Penda nilikuwa nimesimamia hizo harusi mbili mpaka nikasema from that day maana niliona nimevurugwa nime zaidi nikasema never again in my life sitasimamia harusi kama hiyo ndiyo story unasimamia harusi wanaanza kukutaunt wanasema utakuwa professional ya kusimamia harusi unaanza pikia wadme mama shio una, una harusi ya watu ukiona kama ni kanisani unafurahia kupika unafurahia kupika sasa mwisho wale wasio na Mungu wanakuwa na shetani wanashida kukuuliza huyu utapikia watu wangapi nani atakuja kupikia wako si za wengine unakuwa offended na Mungu kweli Ah. Nani hapa amewahi kuazika na Mungu? Sema ukweli mbele za Mungu. Nani ame mimi nimeshawahi kuazika na Mungu kabisa? Nikaona kama huyo Mungu anakaa joka. And I was thinking that God does not exist. If I could find one Muslim who could give me a reason, maana wao wanakupatia fisco food. Wanakupatia instant food. You get it instantly. Nani amewahi kuazika na Mungu hapa? Sema ukweli. Friday day kwa jina hapo ndio kwa shika na Mungu. Yaani Mungu anakupasa mpaka unauliza mahali upo. Even when you see people going to which doctors, they don't choose. They don't choose because mwiki unasikia maandiko yanasema kwamba na itapokuwa mwanadamu mawazo yake ni maofu tangu kuzaliwa. Bana hizo sio sana. Man is impatient is never patient. Maandiko yanasema Mungu akamfunkia mnu and after 40 days akiwa katika mlima Ararat huwa hakuwa na shughuli and the bible says and the god remembered so there is a period Mungu anaweza kukutendea kitu hata yeye mwenyewe ndiye aliyehusika kufunga hiyo 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 safina sio shetani there are some things that god has closed not the devil praise the lord God anataka umachue God was waiting for 40 days 40 days was a days Moses was in the wilderness for 40 years Goliath was abusing the children of Israel for 40 days 40 days Jesus went in the mountain for prayer so that's a period number 4 prophetically means a number of deliverance a number of what? ah uh, na maana gani a number what the children of Israel were in Egypt for 400 years and as when they say life begins at what ah uh, natural senses please life begins at what time 40 even when you are told that the greatest mistake people does come and stand between age 13 paka 18 21 ndio anaweza pata mtoto wa miujiza anaitoka excess ga excess baby yani anakuja without knowing whether he was prepared or not but that was an issue so god was waiting for 40 days and the bible says and the god came and remembered noah and remember what after he remembered with noah maandiko yanasema and the god entered a covenant kuna kipindi kikumbukwa na Mungu Mungu anaishia na covenant anajini na what Ay. Mungu anaweka muhuri wa nini sema agano Yameni sema agano Mungu anaiweka muhuri wa agano God makes it a covenant Ese maandiko yanasema in the book of Luke chapter number 1 Start verse number 5. The Bible says Elizabeth and Zachariah were holy and blameless. But they did not have a child. They don't have what? 
So you can be so holy machine. Blameless, sinless. How una dhambi? You are so pure before God until what you are going to wewe hiyo kanisa boss hiyo maombi unaomba wewe hata si msharati wewe si mkora wewe si jambazi inakuaje hii mambo unapitia tell your neighbor god will remember you ai ongea tu waja madharau alam preaches like this tell your neighbor god will remember you mali inasema zakaria and elizabeth they were holy and blameless before the eyes of men how many in this church sai tunaongea dakika hii mama shiro hapa kwa hii kanisa ni wangapi kuanzia mimi ambao they are not they are blameless before men give alone god in whom god you are blameless before human being Tony Pegaga ndiye kwa blameless. This is true kwa sababu ana adui. Bwana Yesu usio sana. Wangapi? Steve. Are you blameless or am I blameful? Eh? No, be honest. Are you blameless or blameful? Before men. Not before God. Because God keeps on forgive your sins every day. Every morning he remembers to forgive your sins. He cleanses you daily. Are you blameless before men? Even kidogo <laughs> But kidogo is also unajua Rachel ana roho ya kupiga alikuwa amepanda mbegu ya kupiga watchman some two months ago Maandiko yanasema chochote mwanadamu anachopanda anafanya nini I was reading this morning that she slapped a watchman tena mara mbili yeye kwanza afadhali yeye alipiga moja actually alipiga at watchman mbili anaitwa Chengo Chengo was my pastor by then Alipiga huyo mtu chap kwa gate na pia naye alipiwa kwa mla Kwa hiyo chochote mwanadamu anachopanda anafanya nini? Tena anavuna maradufu. Na maandiko inasema Zakaria and Elizabeth. Hebu soma translation yako brother. Chapter number 1 look uh, you look chapter number 1 verse 5. Mhm. Aha. Tafuta microphone grofa sio mpaka microphone kati ya microphone Luke 15 My story begins with a Jewish priest Zechariah who lived when Herod was king of Judah Zechariah was a member of the Abijah division of the temple service hall his wife Elizabeth like himself a member of the priest tribe of the Jews a descendant of Aaron Zechariah and Elizabeth were godly folk careful to obey all God's laws in spirit as well as in letter but they had no children the other translation said they were blameless before men they were blameless before what? I said they were blameless before who? Yani dunia hi, they were blameless. Leo hii masindi wa mke useme hujakwaza mtu. Mimi kuna watu wamenikwaza mpaka nikamkaa na kulala mpaka nilikuwa nauliza Mungu siku moja na muuliza God. What is all about this? Mungu akaniambia I am teaching you character. Before I trust you more, I must teach you character. And what you are teaching me so hard. So I know I'm even too soft. I want to make sure that everybody sometimes is against you until you get so worked up. I went one guy was doing my normal routine or medical checkup, and then the guy said, I see your level, see your level of pressure. It's not bad. But you don't need to manager wanna 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 ongezaka. You, you carry so many people in your head you you care so much about so many people you want everybody to be better even than you are so you are carrying so if you don't reduce it if anything happens you will you collapse i will not collapse in jesus name but i will not collapse i can no i am giving you a reality what is happening 
about your medical condition on body wise not spirit i know the spirit you are above but i want to tell you what to carry in your mind some of the things he told me it was true when my wife was there confirming the same stories he can be and only fine it's all right but there's one thing i want to do the guy told me i can remember go slow on issues you carry so many things you are a perfectionist you will expect everybody to be on the right size of yourself can be your own home okay fine i'll do that akanifanyia mazoezi akanifanyia mioja kanambia is right your heart is good your pressure is all right but don't lakini after all the examination akaniambia eh unaweza avoid chapati mingi naambia chapati nakula saturday as you kule moja si ni kule basi ningeza mbili the only thing he gave me a, a, a clean sheet nikafurai alisema blood group yako haina shida na nyama ah, i celebrated brother I made a celebration. I want to hear him say that my blood group resist meat. Kasama, I was saying no, your blood group has no problem with meat. It has only problem with wheat. Kasama, you can do without quantity what is it? As long as meat is available, it can substitute everything. Banaza swear. So she was not blameless. Mani kwa sema kwamba and Elizabeth and Zachariah they were blameless before God. But the men who are going through shame but kwa na pitia haibu bwana swaso sana they are the same people praying for people they are the same people dedicating people they are the same people prophesying a blessing but to them they are not experiencing anything and the bible says but god remembered sakaria and elizabeth why because the name sakaria inamaanisha kwamba and the god keeps a covenant So check even the name you are given. Angalia hata chini umepewa. Angalia your lifestyle, angalia how you behave before God. Maana kuna sema Zakaria ina maanisha God keeps a covenant. Elizabeth means God remembers. Do the people are old and they were not they were not blame, they were blameless before men hata kioski ya mtu wako na deni hata hakuna mama wa kichichi ana maota kidole sasa hivi angalia but the bible says they were going through fire some problems that we go through it is not because god want to destroy us it is because god want to remember us and seal a covenant bana joso sana maandiko yanasema in esther chapter number 6 mordecai did what was right in eyes of God alifanya kilichokuwa kizuri mbele za Mungu akaripoti wale walikuwa wanataka kuua mfalme maandiko yanasema sakana Mordecai akasaulika kwa mlango for six years how many years i for how many years the guy was forgotten for six years Now wakati alikuwa amesaulika for six years they say another man anaitwa Haman also he was conspiring on how to murder the Jews on how to murder Mordecai maandiko yanasema alikuwa amechimba shimo ya haja atamnyongea inaitwa kinyongo wana hizo sio sana wale wamekuwa kwa jera wanajua kinyongo ni nini wale wanaenda katika jela wanajua maandiko yanasema na Haman akatengeneza and the bible says Haman was the favorite of the king and the bible says when the man was forgotten he was at the gate but the bible says one night it was what please talk to me friend sema one night i said sema one night not one week not even one week of prayer one night the bible says and the king was disturbed mfalme akasumbuliwa katika mawazo biblia inasema ya kwamba baada mfalme kusumbuliwa katika mawazo akasema is there anything because kumbe mungu ndiye alileta kuirejesha i know there are places there are things you have done well before god there are things you have done well before men and they are forgotten but god has not forgotten Ay, ay, ay. Nasema Mungu hajasahau, watu wanasahau. 
watu walio chini ya jua ma, masinde umesoma hii biblia yako in, in Genesis chapter number 8 umesoma vizuri ya kwamba mawazo ya mwanadamu siku zote ni nini ah soma chapter number 6 Genesis kidogo please open Genesis chapter number 6 Genesis chapter number 6. Uskie how humanity behave. Unajua ndio wangu. Wanadamu hata wakiwa mpaka nimesikiza jamaa mmoja mwingine kongolisi akimba akasema ukiona wana 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 wanakupigia mikono kumbe ni ni mipanga wanakunolea vile watakuchinja chinja from. Si kama kuna mtu anaweza yaelewa hiyo song vile anaimba vizuri. Huyo mkongolisi umeikusikia? Hai. Kuna mtu eso umeikusikia hiyo wimbo? Awezi kizaga redio wacha kulifanya hapa. Acha kusikiza kameme. Anasema mikono ati ukipigiwa mikono unafikiria wanakushangilia kumbe ni mipanga wanakunolea. Soma Genesis chapter number 6. What does it say? First one. Yes. We are start verse number 1. Genesis chapter 6 verse 1. Now a population explosion took place upon the earth. It was this time that the beings from the spirit world looked upon the beautiful earth women and took and took and they desired to be their wives. <coughs> Then Jehovah said, My spirit must not forever be disgraced in man. That's what I wanted. Uh, the spirit, my spirit will never forever be disgraced in man. Dis- Only <coughs> evil as he is. I will give him 120 years to mend his ways. <laughs> the only time that God has given you between one morning into evening, 120 years. Anasema ukisema there translate sema kwamba my spirit will never continue struggling with man because his minds are evil. They are what? I said they are what? Even when you see people in the street my brother driving big cars, don't think they are holy. Let me repeat my statement once again even if you don't want to listen to that. Even when you see men and women on the planet earth flying helicopters, driving big cars, what people give testimonies in churches and you think that is God? It's not God. There are people who are drug traffickers. There are people who are satanists. There are prostitutes. There are people who have kept people's husbands in the houses and they are driving big cars. One woman is smoking and 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 smoking akatokea kwa mlango huyu akamwona anaendelea ushuda ya watu wa, unajua shasimile wanakuwa na wazuri kwa kanisa wakafikiria huyu mama ametoa ushuda wa ngufu sasa amejazwa anataka kufanya nini kuanguka huyu akachiwe <laughs> so obvious ashas were there this woman the woman she was an elder wa kanisa akasema this time round nataka kuifanya hararani because huyu ndiye anakuwa supporter ndiye anakuwa closer ndiye anakuwa powerful kumbe this a blood money so even when you see people driving big cars they should not spare your life but also so sad and even when God remembers you he does not necessarily mean material material can be an accompaniment but you are so my brother Nilisoma juzi kwa gazeti wanasema they were worshiping vile meanza Kenya na vile wamechukua nafsi za watu so the people no longer love churches what they do eh yeah. mpaka watoto mpaka watu wazima sasa imechukua mpaka wakasema nturere accident they were involved in everything sasa ndio hivi ndio unaona hata walevi wamesema ulevi usharati uuni kila kitu So they have taken so what they have taken out is the appetite of the church nobody will be having an appetite of the church and they say there's a book I was reading on asema kwamba now the way the voice of magic scheme in the spiritual what they have taken so fast from the people's heart is church yani the love of fellowship no church because church is a fellowship it's not about you, somebody was saying that church is your heart hiyo ni ujanja a heart and a heart they must have a fellowship si ni kweli 
e hata ndio haji mashud what hata wale unasikia ati tuli nyumbani ndio 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 kanisa that is satanic the television cannot be your church and that's what the antichrist is doing ametuletea sasa hii hata ipad unaona ana mimi naendelea kufanya intercessions nilipata ipad niwekelea hapa nilienda kwa kanisa pasta marafiki yangu mwingine nikapata amewekelea ipad hapa hata isomi macho umeisha lakini yako tu hivi amewekelea ipad na you know All right. Hiyo ndio church imebarikiwa. Hapo ukisimama watu wanasimamaa kutoa ushuhuda ya vitu wako nazo brother. Hakuna neno ni msijasahau ile pasedi unalihubiri hapa akasema vizuri. Tuliambia watu juu ya prosperity tukaambia watafanikiwa. Utafanikiwa, utainuka. Bila mashindo ukisimama waambie watu, you were blessed when you were in church, you became a big man, you had all the money you wanted. Every money you wanted you had it. But did you think you in the house of god ilikuwa kwa nyuma ya mungu si sasa hiyo ndio mtu anapotaka shughuli kama ujai pereka bibi eh sisel inaitwa sisel zama Mombasa sunday mko kwa barabara hello other you don't even bother calling pastor is a useless character now and you can stand in a need for her and give a testimony let me finish that woman kule mama alitoka pale akasimama huyu mama amevaa unaona hearing inavana na nguo inavana na kiatu ako na kifungo the lord has placed me with a raffle imagine i've been walking with the i've been coming to judge my mother too but the lord is so wonderful brethren i so thank god hallelujah kama ilikuwa mudi kwa hiyo chai uzuri vitu vya Mungu ndugu yangu Mungu anakupimagaga hivi si ati Mungu anaogopa ana, ana, ana kukupatia hata gari hata hata kazi kubwa hata kuwa president ya Kenya si ati anakuogopa he may not need you to be the president of Kenya i want you to write this word very quickly down in your memory forever there are things you need in life god will never miss to give you there are things you want in life god will never give you but you look for it when you get what you want in life the probability to disappear from the presence of god is very high tafadhali andika hiyo usisahau mirele there are things that you need in life god will never miss to give you the bible says you meet all your needs there are things you want in life god may not necessarily give you he may give you an access you go to worship what he wanted siku moja nilikuwa nasikia maafu one brother anatuambia ati kifungu ya gari imepotea kwa nyumba sio mtoto ame misplace hawakoenda kanisa walizunguka watu wanatafuta kifungu mtoto mdogo tu Ariaka and the god was testing at home wife please call them and tell them that is satanic demonic kifungu ya lari simi kipotea kwa nyumba even if you take matatu from kiamuni na ufike hapa it will never reduce you from kuwa orina steve and they would never reduce you from even standing in the court of law and become a lawyer as you been nobody will even ask wakazunguka ati wanatafuta kifungu walipofika saa nne wakakashirika kifungu imepotea sasa iko hiyo nyumba kila mtu amekashirika wanakaa chini then i was asking what were they doing from morning and they did, before then they were still walking to church na hiyo lari walikuwa wamepata one month ago what you want to may drive you out of the presence of god hiyo hiyo na msichana anataka anataka si anahitaji anataka mwanaume akona gari Unafikiria akipata mwanaume ako na gari ni kanisa atakuwa na ni gari atafuta itembeleze vile atakabuka There are people you need in life God will sustain them for you but there are people you want in life they will continuously give you distress they will ever constantly frustrate your life they will ever make your life miserable when i got that revelation brother the other day here even God spoke to we were here He said even their members we want in life. 
it is our joy tukipata watu wamejaa hapa hivi apre mekema ile anaambia juzi kajari anasema msichana anasema ati wewe mimi nilikuwa na elfu moja nikapanda mbegu nikapanda mbegu nikapata premium excuse me and I ask you guys everybody here can afford that how if, if the criteria is ni ya kupanda mbegu ya elfu moja kupata premium kwa hii chacha ta misi naeza wakopesha that how that kwani mimi naweza kuwa mtu pasambaa sana unafikiri mkiweka ma premium hapa hivi nje kama moto bazaa wasemekana ni washika wa hiyo kanisa hakuna wazo atangulizeka hapa ndani by virtue of those premiums ai john tukijaza magari hapa nje kwa hii limousine yangu hapa unaona hiyo kwa hiyo limousine sasa mimi ni substitute ya limousine ni kweli range nyinyi mmezunguka kama wana wa israeli mmezunguka na hiyo ma, ma premium kila mtu imeja kwa mfano vile hapa kwa hai nyumba tuko tuseme tuko watu kama 30 si ni kweli alafu hawa vote muweke 40 premium hapo nje na mtu akiuliza what because the first question what atauliza what is going on hapo ndani si ni watu atauliza hivi wanaambiwa ni nini ai wanauliza ni nini curiosity itakuwa ina demand ya kwamba kama ni kanisa ni kanisa ya watu aina ai <laughs> Ni kanisa watu aina nini? Wakifika ndani wanakumba na kuambia if you continue doing like this God will give you a premium. Kwani unafikiria hakuna mtu atabaki hapa kwa premium? Ni langu napenda kutoka shaba mwanguja hapa na matatu. Ukipata hiyo premium utaiogopa. Now listen. Wewe msana umeiona mahali watu wanapigana na church life? Nini? Oh mama akakaa chini akamwambia pastor let me give you this testimony huyu ni malaya bwanangu ndio mnunulia gari mwingine anamlipia nyumba mwingine ndiye anamhivi watu unaona na ninamjua na ni msichana na rafiki yangu sijui nini akampea testimony akamwambia hata mahali amewekwa hiyo ushuhuda na watia si ushuhuda hiyo ni ukora si ushuhuda ya kweli hiyo ni ukora tu wake umalaya yake ndio anakuja kusimama kwa madadao kusema Not that God does not bless people he blesses them but if you get what you want brother it will separate you with God But if you get what you need if you get what you want I say you get what you want I was asking God why do you want to give us that kind of statement he said I give you this statement to strengthen your faith to make you more stronger to make you more active appetite of winning now listen to this maneno nasema and the modekai was remembered by god and god said what have we done and i want to tell you my friend this month of september there are people who have forgotten you but at the moment god remembers you nobody will forget you I say nobody will forget you. There are people who have forgotten your identity and your address. One man came here one day. I think some six months ago, if not four months. Uyo ndugu tulikuwa na ye. Anayo pastor Tieno. Tumekaa na ye miaka nyingi. Nilikuwa na mtafsiria. Nikia kijana tu barubaru. Na chitaiti. Now one day when we met. Otieno. Tuliachana for about. 15 years down the line so when we met na ye kwa bishop joyce wakati tunafanya ordination kwa bishop joyce and then we talked to rotelo i told him we are mungu anatusaidia this what we are doing we are struggling trying to raise the ministry in the city rotelo has been in ministry for a very long time he's a very dynamic preacher tulipo kutano na ye tunakuja so rotelo did rotelo hakujua tunaenda wapi kujua tukakuja tukaingia hapa tukaondoa tukamwitisha soda kwa demo hapo na rafiki yake wakaanza kukunywa after that otimu aka change attitude yake otimu alikuwa ananidharau sana masinde kwa bibi wajere kudharau kwa mfululizo yeye mwana kudharau kwa mfuru anakudharau mfululizo <laughs> mtu anakudharau kwa mfululizo yani sio mapenzi yake kila mtu pegi when you are down ukiwa chini you are very few people even wale unaona maskini bila wanadharauliana hata wakiwa chini ona umbo ya 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 ya, ya, ya kichakani umbo ya mstuni unaona bila wanadharauliana ikipata mfupa kila saa 
So hata ule mwingine jirani akiwa ajue hapa akukuji lakini umbo ya kizungu ile ya kulaga chakula ya kilo tano inakuwa na shughuli inakula ina relax inakaa nao kuna watu wanaozarau maisha ya mtu na kuna wakati unatafuta watu wa kukumbuke there are times you try to raise people but i want to encourage you my friend you don't need to raise people you need to raise god i say you need to raise god I see you need to raise God to get a man be a case of Monday after that you raise God when you find God you will find every person that will meet you amen Ni mwambia Mungu na kumwambia God I know I want a big car but at least I need a car Mungu anauliza that limousine you have is a car you need it Si unatoka shamba kuna hapa Baraza sio sana. Si Mungu anaitikubugana na mahitaji yangu. For mobility, kwani for mobility nani eh, masinde. See this I need the I need the transport to go back home when it's raining. Kwani hii limo ziliweza nifikisha? Eh? Si juzi hapa ndio wangu amekuja kuichukua aende nayo ravine. Na akaanza bia yake na nimpia kuliko yangu. Mungu usura. Nikamwambia roho ni smart mwili ndio umechanika ukiona mashida iko hivi ni mwili tu imetabika lakini tayari nafsi imewekwa baraka bwana hiyo sio sana alikuja akachukua hiyo limu zile anapiga one kick inawaka akatoka anaenda alienda nao siku mbili akasema eh hey, bwana hii gari inaenda na gear namba 4 kumbe inakuwa na 5 nikamwambia hiyo ni limu zile wewe unasikia nikibadiliza limu zile unaona gani ni story but if i'm given an opportunity today to choose anything I want the range law you mean if I don't know how to maintain it I want to live but I need what I need a car to take me back home and bring me to church to church there are people who have jets today they don't need it yeah they don't want it they need it because they must be in a place where it is very congested on traffic what can he do atafanya nini na maana kuna sema Mungu akamkumbuka Mordecai akasumbua mfalme akamwambia ya kwamba wewe mfalme kuna kitu utafanyia Mordecai maandiko yanasema na Mordecai alipokumbukwa na Mungu wale walikuwa wanamchongea there are people today they conspire over people's life daily watu wana conspire usiku na mchana kuna watu they are never rest and wamekuona uko zero bwana Yesu sio sana kuna vitu mama Lilian unahitaji na kuna vitu unataka. Sasa hii unaweza hitaji shamba yako ujenge nyumba. Uishi na amani bila kunusumbuli wa rent. Lakini unataka nyumba ya bedroom sita. Watoto wako kuna wawili kila mmoja anapotea yako boarding mwingine yako Saudi Arabia Sudan. Wewe na bwana yako mnahitaji bedroom ngapi kuishi ndani? Alizi mko na divorce basis. Ume divorce kila mmoja anakaa ile na mwingine. <laughs> I think that's why the African mentalities are very poor. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asiwe. Bwana Yesu asiwe. Sasa yeye sasa yuko peke yako kwa nyumba na bwana wako nyinyi wawili. Ushiraka kwa uko chini Carlos, wamboa kwa Nyaururu. Si mko tu hivi. Baada ya miezi ngapi? Ndio mtaona karibu. But what you want in life? Kile unataka maisha ni ndirangu it will take you away from god what you need in life it will keep you please remember those statements forever in your life hata kama kuna vitu utazao maishani mwako even if they say nothing that you forget don't forget that statement don't forget what i said don't forget what those sip don't forget my brother today as you stand there are friends you want in life and that's why they are giving you sometimes sleepless night they keep on hurting you every day but the people you need in life god give you grace to maintain them and they also give grace to you siku anajua hivyo mashinde siku anajua hivyo nashukuru mungu kwa sababu ya kunifunulia ndani ya moyo wangu vitu vyenye siku anajua Mungu aliniambia why are you hurt by so many people because there are people you want in life. Sikujua. Kaiben man of God friends 
who I want them in life, they have hurt me. They are those I need. They have comforted my life, not even in financially, but spiritually, they have comforted my life. I did not know. They have comforted my life. Even when I'm on the business restful level, one of them, Apostle Patrick was telling me one day, her name is Lawrence. I was telling him an experience that we have never, we don't even abuse people. There are people even we have slept, even almost sleeping in the houses, bleeding with them. Tafadhali. Tafadhali Bukuti Kesu Church. Akimuzi. Wengine wachukua simu. Unawapigia. Unawapigia. Tafadhali. Mutakuja Kesu. Niambia kis. Seba Bwana Yesu. Takuja Kesu Church. Tako nakuwa arrested as well. Kwa matumono they will do what? <laughs> Are they they will do what? They will come to church. Pastor Ken Yeriko told me one day when he was here in my office, when he had, uh, he had 28 members in his church. Right now, he's building a 40 million cathedral in Kishi. Right now, it's the biggest church. In fact, other Catholic people in terms of excellence. I'm welcome back at times. That's why we donated Sami is well working. Sami is very happy. Is now working there. I require produce something. I require to have collect a tithe, collect a report. Maybe my share in the He's a member of this church, but he's a worker on the other end. So we donated him as an offering. And the Bible says, "Give it shall be given back to what." When we were talking with him in this office, the, uh, the wife, I can remember Lawrence. I started a church in 1993, 1994. I was I alone even he was not married. I can remember that he was giving me a chronicle of his story. I can remember he was an associate pastor. The same story too in Yauru. He could preach, finish, the offering is collected and then in a work. I got talk a kind of see a can be to come back, ni meskia we to akwanda kisi kwa fanya kazi. Even the bishop yaka kamambia we we da kidu juu kwamba u mejipeleka brother. Go and prove your ministry. He went and started. Alipo fika bana ni marakwanza. Hey, wazazwaka wamekalia hapa kisi. Tony mkisi lakini wazazwaka wameka hapa manyani miaka nyingi. So unajua kifika kisi marakwanza kisi problem kama ujui. Unafika uko kuna baptism ya malaria. Alifika, akawa baptized na malaria. The man became sick. Aka koncheka mbaka kakakwa kisi in medical hospital. Aka wekwa ward. Alikuwa mechukua hall. Mahali redeemed church ilikuwa. Kuna social hall ya... Ya, 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 ya kanisa ilikuwa akawa machukua hall kwa imani kambia nataka wa natumia hall kwa ajili ya kufanyia uduma sasa alipo fika akawa 1994 hiyo hiyo the same time pastor lai came to do a crusade kisi sasa wakasema wanatafuta mahali wa kuweka watu kwa sababu crusade it was the biggest crusade ever done in kisi na nifanyua kwa, kwa stadium Ken Nyerika wamechukua hall ana watu ako peke yake hata na mke baadaye he was not married. Wakaenda kwa hospital bed bali Ken amekaa kwa hospitali. Amefungwa maji, amenuliwa malaria iko karibu kumuua. Baba yake ajui, mama yake ajui. Alisoma tena akaa peke yake. Watu ukiwa kwa hospitali masinde wanakuuliza wewe kwa sababu hauna mshirika tungeomba uwe hall utupatie brother uko kajiga ugunona kama ugaribu kwa na kusalimia chaoba utakata kena kawambia ni saa watu waliena na watu wa monisi kwa kawambia mwenye amechukua wali ndio huko lakini tumesikia mitiwa Ali, he was housed by reverend uru uru unaona hako hapa reverend uru ndia limweka kwa nyumba yake haka kaa wakati uru wakua kisi haka mweka kwa nyumba yake haka kama ye haka mwambia sasa kini utafanya wae kubali haka kubali haka sema hall haka under distress, very pain. Mwiri na umwa. Na unajua vile malaria inaweza kukumaliza usikia vibaya. Haka peana hall. When he gave out the hall, haka rudi haka anzia ibada katika stadium. Akiwa peke yake. Halipuanza stadium vibanda zile. Sio stadium show ground kama isi. Kuna vibanda vilikuwa mbogo kama ya kaanza peke yake. Singing. Anatumbia because I remember that time I saw Bishop Mark anakuja kufanya mkutano anarokota sadaka yote anaweka kwa gunia na anakuja na kuru nayo 
anamwambia brother God will bless you at Ken was waiting at least amgawie kidogo maana watu walikuja wasikia maki amekuja at least wamekuja amerokoza zadaka amgawie kidogo Ken alipe nyumba mahali alikuwa anaishi nyumba ya two rooms alikuwa amepewa notice ati akakaa akaanza tena maombi ya kulia akangangana na kakanisa wakafika watu 28 ndugu mmoja mbaluu na yeye alikuwa amemweka hapo kama mwanzo shit akafanya mazoezi 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 jamaa akamkata <laughs> akamkata because <laughs> akakata Ken watu 18 Ken ndiye kwa mkaka ndiye kwa wameona mpya katika ndoa they are new in marriage mama ako na mimba hivyo imesimama kubwa watu wametoroka wote mpaka atikule <laughs> He said you come one day to give you testimony so you can be able to record it. Watu walikuwa supporters Mazinde the main supporters hiyo kanisa walikuwa na kulipia ngalao na mmoja alikuwa mkubwa wa polisi na ndugu mwingine alikuwa anafanya post bank. Huyo mbaluu akabeba wote akaenda nayo. Kenya akabaki na vijana wa, 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 wenye jobless boys. All of them wana ngoja wakimaliza wagawane hiyo sadaka hapo. <laughs> akaenda <laughs> so Ken was contemplating living kisi atoke tena arudi na ururu ama aende kwingine kwa sababu walimwambia wewe una kitu yote Mungu amekuita ana bishop yake so him he took advantage at one day and kuna mahali alikuwa anaenda kwa nyumba kwa washirika anaenda kwa nyumba anakaa na wao mpaka saa tano usiku saa sita anambia akimtakuja jet kesho akimtakuja akisema ukweli ati Kenya anakuwa assured ya kwamba akiendelea kuhubiri mpaka saa tano kama vile tunahubiri zaini saa tano ndaka tano akoshua hao kwa sababu alikuwa na wao jana wanafanya nini <laughs> wanafanya nini yaani vile ni shida kwa mashiro nimekupigia simu masaa yote niwaambie mpaka niambie basta good night aki kesho saa moja na nusu niko church inafika saa tano anaangalia and the god the story shot na wao kwambie bila Mungu anakumbuka so to me i want to tell you because i want to finish can he made a testimony yake because he said you come to encourage us to donate as a mia mfanyie kazi amefanyia kazi mzuri ukiangalia program yake yako kwa sayare anahubiri kwa tv on tuesdays 8 o'clock 7:30 mpaka 8 Ken Agarombia after the church is integrated he remained with the jobless boys and those are the people he left with he started now asking what is the next move it took one miscalculation of one pastor in the, in the city one miscalculation and that is how god sometimes does and when the confusion came God remembered Ken. Today is building a cathedral of 40 million. Ameweka, sasa mimi nakuambia, ameweka ceiling kama ile anako material na wao imekona matatu. Because I remember you used to tell me kila siku. Anasemaga kwa imani. Anasema tutajenga kanisa kama naku mat supermarket. And today is fulfilled if you go to his place. Chin. Sasa mimi nakuambia juice ameweka tiles kama zile ziko kwa bank zile all over the church. And then now they are putting the ceiling board. Kwaambia ni mbepa kama mimi najua pesa za mimi ndio naweza niko in church of media nimepewa office yangu. Kwaambia boy, remember the tithe is here and offering and prophet offering. You come here December to give a testimony. And then that's why we do both. Tunafikia watu kazi, tunawahubiria na tunawaombea. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. And that's our work. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. So I am sure if there are people who have forgotten you my sister you don't need to look for them you need to look for god god will remember you and they will remember you forever i say god will remember you and those people will remember you forever Amen. the people you want please nataka useme hii useme ukimaanisha hata mimi nimesema hivyo mama hii watu una the people i want and people i need Yaani unaona kai na sound smart kulingana na wewe Kiswahili. Sasa nisema hapa juu. Ni wakati unaona kama wana wana wana, wana sound smart. Alice, kuna watu uko nao katika maisha yani unawataka. Ujaona mwanamke anataka anataka mundugu mwenye ako na nyumba ya bedroom sita. Anaolewa anakuta amelewa na majini. Na nini hapa hii? Na mwingine anataka anahitaji mume, si ni kweli? 
anataka ndugu tu boda boda ama ama, ama eh? Ule financial and stability so they start rising together una hiyo si kuna wanaume wanawake leo wanatuka nao wanaulizwa ni nini ulipewa kwa nyumba hilo ni moja siku hata kuna rafiki yangu mmoja is a pastor anatukanaga bibi yake life anamwambia si wewe na mamako mlikuwa mnauza uji na huyo mwanamke ameingia kwa huyo pastor because the pastor chased the first wife i don't know whether he chased her i can call it ama what they did wakaachana i think pastor may know that k- 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 character they call him a character so the guy is a traveling preacher and he can give a very false testimony so he gets he gathers a lot of money so after he gathered a lot of money those are blood money by the way that's one will be sure he gathers a lot of money so amefungulia mama akaenda akakombolea mama yake mother in law nyumba ya bedroom mama alikuwa anaishi nyumba ya single room sasa amemkombolea nyumba ya bedroom nne na anamulipiaga mwaka mzima huko voice nyumba kubwa yani huko si expensive kama hapa alafu amefungulia sasa huyu mpesa pesa hiyo hiyo ya ujanja pesa na danganyala atikomba anasaidia orphans na siku moja nikamwambia siku moja utakuwa orphan usipochunga ama tutaoga atakuwa orphan sasa huwa anarudi anatukanaga bibi yake anamwambia aje anamwambia bibi yake akimuuliza jambo lolote kwa mfano bibi yake anuliza na huyu umeongea na yeye na siku basi wanawake wote kama huko jeras kwa kwa mume wako you, do, you have no love love as jeras si ah niulize swali ya pili love as what and the god says i am a jealous kwani mungu ni shetani anasema i am a jealous kama inakuwa aje ukiona mwanamke ama mwanaume anakaa carelessly tu hizi jali si jali hata ongea that yani you are no jealous kama ni habari hiyo simama hapo unasema eh wako unasema nini sema tusikie tukiwa watatu maana shahidi watatu ndio wa mwi Arabu sino zeme these are private. So when this guy msichana akimuulizaga, nakumbuka siku moja alimkashirikia wakati wamekombolewa nyumba hapa Mirimani. Kabla hajaondoka hapa Nakuru. Anamwambia, "Ona huyu, nimetoa yeye na mama yake kuuza uji." Eh? Ninawasaidia. Walikuwa wanauza uji wanatembea na miguu hapa town wanahangaika. Why? This lady wanted a man of means. Ni kweli? But she wants she needed a husband. If you get a husband because it's a need, you respect you do what? I say you do what? But if you want a man, if you want a woman, I want a beautiful wife. Not I need a wife. You, you, do, you want what? I say you want what? See my pastor friend got a beautiful excellent bombastic dynamic pragmatic wife ako figa 8 dada ukimwona kabisa kwanza akisimama kuimba the lady she was cute na kwanza alilelewa Mombasa ndio akaja na kuru hapa so ulikuwa unamwona kama ni mwarabu mwarabu mkuu lakini mkuu tu wa kawaida the lady she was pragmatic wacha tumie lugha za kankatras ile lugha sijui hata ni kama inamaanisha ni lakini sema tu kufurahisha tu mioyo <laughs> modelistic mshana muraf ndio ndio naonaacha maafu na na, na bishop ikamwambia the guy atari akaandika kwa magazine moja akaandika akasema i have gotten a wife i wanted i did not take a note of that name I have gotten a wife I wanted. Huyo msichana siku ya mwisho wanaambiana usiku anamwambia kwanza alitolewa hapa kiamuni kwa harusi anaambia mimi sitaki kuolewa na mhubiri. Mimi maono yangu siku anaolewa na mhubiri. The man could not understand vile huyo mwanamke anaweza mkataa kulingana na yeye. The guy could not understand. Hangeelewa they first until they did the the wedding. One month later the drama began the, the man was heading a big church of more than 2000 people what happened next you can't understand you can't believe they disintegrated they divorced and the man became a victim of divorce right now is married again so if you want you get what you want Joan 
you will lose what you need. Kuna watu wanasema I want it now, not tomorrow. What? I need. God knows your needs. Bwana Yesu asiye sana. In the book of Mark chapter number 11 verse 24 the Bible says and God knows what we need before we start praying. Not what we want. Tumelilia watu. We cry. Si tumelilia watu. Lakini tunawapembeleza. Ni nini hatujaona tunaambia watu hata mtu aje church tumelilia naje. And one thing we will be sure all of us God will give us grace. God will do what? I say God will do what? I say God will do what? stand up on your feet for a minute na uambie Mungu mwambie Bwana na kuomba unisaidie katika maisha yangu simama kwa miguu yako dakika moja simama 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 tu mwambie Bwana umshukuru Bwana umtukuze Bwana mwambie Bwana na kushukuru baba katika jina la Yesu na kushukuru tena fungua kinywa chako mwambie Bwana nikumbuke maisha yangu kumbuka jamii yangu kumbuka watoto wangu kumbuka vyote ninavyofanya maishani mwangu katika jina la Yesu Kristo fungua kinywa chako please and worship kujeni hapa tunataka kwanza mara moja so that we can be able to finish as always as we said tunataka kumaliza la ibada za alma thank you sir amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Habari za leo. Ah, uh, nimefurahi leo jaja yako. I can be judged properly. <laughs> tumefurahi sana kuwa na wewe Steve na Asante kwa uongozi. Na tumefurahi pasta pia uko hapa. Bwana akubariki sana. Ah, uh, napenda hii kanisa na ninapenda Pastor Lawrence na mke wake na uongozi wa hii kanisa. Jambo moja ambalo limenisaidia katika maisha yangu katika huduma is that I like associating with the people who are growing because people who are growing will always remind you where you are one time when you are also doing what growing na kuna mambo mengi ambayo nimejifunza wakati ambapo kanisa linakuwa kwa sababu nilikuwa privileged kulelewa kwa kanisa ambalo limekomaa alafu nikatumwa kwenda kuanzisha kanisa na ndio nikakuja kugundua kumbe watu wa kwangu wameokoka sana vile tunadhaniaga ndio nikagundua tena watu ni Yesu anaokoa na kuna viwango katika nini wokovu na kweli tumekuwa na kipindi kizuri na pastor I'll keep to my word na pokeni salamu kutoka katika kanisa ambalo ninachunga wameniruhusu nije nishiriki nanyi leo na mara nyingi hawapendi nikose kanisani lakini niliwaambia hii nikikosa kulet anaweza kunimaliza na orina sasa nikasema wacha nikuwe muaminifu nikuwe rafiki wa ukwe ukweli kwa sababu karibuni pia tutakuwa tunaanza kuwadai na kuambia mje kwetu na muweze kutusaidia ah uh, ningeuliza uh, Cleopas fungua hiyo chati yangu weke hapo hata kama Pastor Lord leo ndio maneno itakuwa hapa mingi usiwe na shida Pastor Lawrence nitaongea maneno leo ndio niko na maneno hatari hata kuliko ile ya mbeleni uh, kuna vitu ambavyo huwa vinasumbua watu katika wokovu na nilipokuwa najiandaa kwa ibada ya leo kuna jambo pendio pandule mwingine kwanza na watu ehe basi niwekee hapo sasa nataka uelewe hivi mara nyingi tumehubiria watu vitu vingi lakini nimekuwa kuna jambo Mungu aliniambia uh, mwaka huu Mungu akaniambia umehubiria watu kubarikiwa na ni vizuri watu wabarikiwe but the greatest thing ambayo Mungu anatafuta sio kubariki watu the purpose of salvation is to transform people Bwana asifiwe sana the purpose of being saved is for transform transformation unfortunately so many times we are not transformed ndio kwa sababu gani we don't deal with the issues of the heart we must deal with the issues of the heart proverbs chapter number 6 kama uko pale verses number 16 biblia inasema these things the lord hates yes seven things are abomination to him a proud look a lying tongue hands that shed innocent blood a heart that devises wicked plans feet that are swift in running to evil a false witness who speaks lies and one who sows discord among brethren leo ningependa kuzungumza kuhusu namba verse number 19 part b ambayo inasema a false witness who speaks lies and one who sows discord among brethren ningependa kuzungumza kuhusu the seven thing that god hates the worst is planting discord among brethren now the funny thing is that unapotazama biblia inasema kwamba moyo wa mwanadamu ni mdanganyifu kuliko vyote nami mungu ndaitafuta kuijua 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na mwao wa mwanadamu unapotazama mwao wa huyu ndugu hapa, hapa katikati ukiangalia huyu ni roho mtakatifu amehepa. Wakati ambapo watu wako na kiburi cha maisha, midomo ya uongo, kuua watu ambao hawana hatia, kusingizia watu na kutorea watu mambo mabaya mzekobe anajua hiyo unajua mzekobe anajua kufanya mambo alafu yeye akishafanya mambo anatoa kichwa yake anaangalia alafu anaangalia na unajua kwa ujeuri wake na anaga haraka anarudisha kichwa do you know there are people who can devise wicked against your life against your business against your marriage and you can't imagine alafu hapa unaona kunae hapa kuna kuna chui chui inaakilisha wale watu ambao hakuna mnyama anaambia kuliko chui anajua kukimbia kwa ubaya ndio kuna watu ambao leo hawakuwa kwa ibada lakini wanaweza wanajua mambo yote yenyelikuwa kwa ibada kuna watu ambao wanaambia wako na ability ya kukimbiza mambo mabaya na hapa kuna yeye nyoka ambayo huyu sasa ndiye anaharibu wandugu wandugu wakai pamoja na hapa kuna chura chura anapenda kurukaruka tumezungumza sana kuhusu roho ya kurukaruka kanisani na nikawaambia kwamba watu wengi wenye wanapenda kurukaruka kwa ndoa kwa maisha hata shule hawakupenda na ni kwa sababu ya hiyo roho hawatulii for you to be a good student you must have the ability to sit in class for not less than 8 hours and it is not one year six years four years seven years nine years depending on what you are doing na unapotazama pale leo ningependa kuzungumzia kuhusu roho ya nyoka kanisani Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Uliza jirani yako wewe ni nyoka. Hebu muulize wewe ni nyoka. Sasa leo ningependa kuzungumza kuhusu nyoka. Kwa sababu Bwana aliniambia nizungumze kuhusu nyoka. Wacha niwaambie nyoka ni mnyama wa aina gani? Nyoka ni mnyama ambaye akiwa mbali is very attractive. Kweli ama si kama ni brown kama ni green kama ni cobra ukitazama from a distance inakuwa is very yani ana, anapendeza anapendeza sana na kitu cha ajabu ni ya kwamba nyoka kabla ya kufika kuwa mnyama mbaya na hao adui alikuwa rafiki wa mwanadamu na ndio mnyama ambaye alienda kwa shamba ya Eden akamtafuta Hawa akaanza mazungumzo na yeye na Biblia inasema ya kwamba yeye walipokuwa katika ile mazungumzo mwishowe baada ya kumdanganya Hawa akakula matunda baadaye Mungu akakuja akawafukuza kwa ile shamba wakati Mungu alipokuwa na laani one of the things ambazo Mungu alisema ni ya kwamba wewe nyoka kuanzia leo hautatembea utakuwa unatembea na tumbo yako na utakula nini mchanga which tells us yakomba pale mbeleni nyoka alikuwa na miguu sasa kitu ambacho sijajua i'm still trying to to get the picture because that picture is not very clear kama alikuwa na miguu minne ama alikuwa na mbili kama alikuwa na mbili leo alikuwa anasimama hivi vile nyoka ni mrefu na anaweza kujikoa leo ningependa kuzungumzia roho ambayo huwa inasumbua kanisa sana na hatujalishughulikia na hakuna kanisa na hakuna jamii na hakuna mahali watu wapo hiyo roho haitaingia hiyo ni roho ya nyoka roho ambayo haiwaruhusu wanduru kukaa pamoja yani ni roho ambayo itahakikisha still asiendelee kuwa rafiki yangu itahakikisha Cleopas na mimi hawapatani itahakikisha mimi na pastor Laura zile urafiki tumetengeneza haipo na ni roho ambayo inatenganisha wa ndugu na hiyo roho inafanyaje wakati ambapo mtu wako na roho hizi ndani na utagundua hizi wanyama ukiziangalia zinapenda kuishi kwa mstuni roho ya huyu ndugu unaona hapa kuna giza kwa sababu na huyu ni shetani amekaa anatawala roho yake roho ya huyu ndugu ni chafu na wakati ambazo hizi roho ziko chafu zinapenda ni wanyama ambao wanapenda kukaa pamoja na wanapenda giza they strive in darkness what is darkness darkness has nothing to do with black is ignorance My people are destroyed for lack of what knowledge. Kwa nini nimekuja na hii chat so that you can understand yourself. The only thing you can conquer is conquer yourself. People want to conquer other people, but that is not the purpose of God. If you can conquer yourself, then you are safe. Hapa huyu ni Roho Mtakatifu. Roho Mtakatifu hapendi kukaa mahali kuna kiburi, mahali kuna kusema uongo, mahali watu wanamwaga damu, mahali ambapo watu wanasingizia wengine, miguu inayokimbia kwa ubaya, wandugu hawakai pamoja 
moja roho ya kurukaruka Mungu apende roho mtakatifu apende hapa anatoroka na hapa unagundua malaika anatoroka na malaika unagundua ni kama mchungaji na watu ambao Mungu ameleta kwa maisha yako wa kusaidie because angels are ministering spirits bwana asifiwe sana sasa ni nini ambacho kinatusumbua kanisani nimeona watu kanisa watu walikuwa watu wazuri wanakuja wanaacha wokovu mtu alikuwa tu ndugu mzuri akabarikiwa akaacha kanisa ndugu tu akabarikiwa akaacha mke wake mke akaacha mume wake watu wanafanya vituko mpaka unauliza na yule ni dada la kwaya na yule ni ndugu na yule ni nini kumbe ni hizi roho watu wafanye namna gani hawazishughuliki na hizi vitu zikiwa ndani yako zinamkimbiza roho mtakatifu kwa sababu Mungu akai mahali pachafu na kama kuna kitu Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 God your heart with all diligence for out of it comes the issues of life leo ningependa kuzungumzia kuhusu the issue of life kutoka kwa hiki kitu ambacho kinaitwa nyoka nyoka ni mnyama wa aina gani number one. yeye ni, ni mnyama ambaye is very destructive but at the same time very attractive Nya, ukipata kiatu ya ngozi ya ngozi ya nyoka ama upate mshipi ama chochote kimetengenezwa na ngozi ya nyoka si very expensive kwa sababu gani ile ability yake ya kusurvive yani it is smart ikitengenezwa na kuna watu kanisani hivyo they are very smart when you look at them they are very good wanajua kuongea wanajua kukana watu but inside them they are very destructive na hakuna kitu destructive ambacho shetani anatumia kanisani kama nyoka nyoka alitumia nini kumtoa hawa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu na shamba ya Eden alitumia mdomo mazungumzo na hiyo mazungumzo tagundua ndio iko hapa roho ya mbwa ambaye inajua hakuna mnyama anajua kutumia mdomo kama mbwa kulamba lamba naye nyoka ni expert lakini yeye anajua sana kitu cha ajabu ni kwamba nyoka anapenda kuingia anaweza ingia mahali na msijue aliingia kwa sababu gani ability yake ya kuadopt is very high anaweza kuishi kwenye maji na anaweza kuishi katika nchi kavu ndio kuna watu kanisani wanaweza kufanya dhambi mpaka ushangae kama wamwahi kukua kanisani na kuntada wanaweza kufanya haki mpaka ushangae the same same person hapo na hiyo character na watu ambao wako na hiyo character one of the things ambayo inafanya is that they are bitter people kitu moja kuhusu nyoka ni kwamba nyoka ikikuuma nini wa inafanya inatupa nini sumu na hiyo sumu ikitupwa what happens itafanya mtu afure kama mwahi kuona mtu wakati fulani nilikuwa nafanya kazi katika maeneo ya East Pokot na huko kuna nyoka nyoka ni wako kila mahali na kulikuwa na kijana alikuwa ameumwa na nyoka ungetazama sasa makosa ndio aliumwa na nyoka na haikujulikana ni nyoka wa aina gani sasa amefura mguu tunajaribu kumtafutia matibabu it was very difficult wacha niwaambie hivi do you know kanisani kuna watu ambao ni wazuri they are very attractive wanaweza imba wanaweza kusaidia wanaweza kuji toa wanaweza kutoa fungu la kumi, wanajua kukaa na watu lakini wao ni nyoka na nyoka ni nini ukitaka kujua mtu ni nyoka ni ya kwamba mahali ameingia people never remain the same nyoka ako na ulimi sumu akikuchapa nayo mara moja choa kusha na anakuchapaka kama ameenda na hiyo ndio kitu ningependa kuzungumzia leo kanisani Ukisoma kitabu cha Proverbs mahali tumesoma utagundua ya kwamba watu wengi ambao ni very attractive they meet our needs na makosa yetu ni ya kwamba when we get somebody who meets our need he becomes so attractive to us na sisi tunafanya nini tunamuendea lakini huyo mtu ndio baadaye ataacha amekuharibu amekutoa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu vile nyoka kwa shamba ya Eden aliyakikisha amepigana na awa akawatoa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu do you know there are people who are just fighting to get you out of the plan of God for your life do you know that this church is here for the will of God is here for a certain group of people but if you are not careful kunaweza kuwa na mtu mmoja mpaya ama watu wawili wako na roho ya nyoka nyoka ambayo inatenganisha wanduni pamoja haitaki kuona watu pamoja have you discovered pastor Lawrence that the hardest thing is to unite people in church do you know people can agree on politics people can agree on evil people can agree in the bar but the place where people don't agree is where is church si kama unajua hivyo ni ngumu sana kufanya watu kanisani wakubaliane kuna wengine watasema matangazo ni mrefu kuna wengine watasema ni mfupi sana yeah, people will never agree na nikataka kujua why is it difficult 
nikagundua kumbe shetani amepandwa katikati yetu na anajua when we are united we can do more than when we are isolated so how does the devil isolate analeta watu ambao wako na roho ya nyoka sasa ro- nyoka what does it stand for poison poison now poison is bitterness do you know that today there are so many people in the church who are bitter and don't even know that they are what they are bitter na kanisani mara nyingi we don't deal with bitterness in people's life nauliza hapa who has never been bitter nani hapa jai who is not bitter there are people who are bitter with their fathers because baba yao aliwaacha wakateseka wakalelewa na mama there are people here who are bitter with their mother because mama yao aliwaacha baba yao akawa bibi mwingine wakalelewa na watoto wa kambo kweli ama si kweli kuna watu hapa ambao leo hii they are bitter with life because waliku, mama yao alikufa akawaacha kwa nini mama akakufa wengine baba alikufa do you know we are living with people who are bitter and everybody has the ability to be bitter in life now bitter people are bitter people they are so most of the behaviors you see people with is because of bitterness why do people murder bitterness why does somebody kwa nini mtu asingizie mtu uongo is bitterness kwa nini mtu atoe ushuda wa uongo is bitterness na kama kuna kitu shetani ametumia na imefichwa ni uchungu do you know we look outward we are very smart tunajua kuongea very eloquent but the truth we are very bitter people today i want you to deal with what bitterness there is nobody here who is not bitter kuna watu hapa walitamani kuwa kitu kuna watu hapa wako where they are in life they don't believe that is where god wants them to be so they are there by force but inside them they are very bitter people so what is bitterness bitterness ukiangalia kwa dictionary wana define like testing sharp or sometimes unpleasant do you know there are people who they, they, they are not sweet they are not sweet ni watu wazuri lakini wakiachana na wewe wanakuacha umeharibika wanakupatia maneno wanakuacha sumu ana, na wanajua kupanda sumu katikati ya watu there are people who are expert and they are bitter and the danger of bitterness is one go in a church it doesn't matter what kind of a church how big or how small ukitaka kujua vile kanisa inakuaga ibada ikiisha people form groups ushajua kila kanisa iko na groups zake every church has got its political groups so bitter people will gather in one group group ya vitima upande mmo and you wonder why we na huyu wanapendana that's why you need to ask from today what what is attracting you to the other person most of the times the company we keep is because they encourage these things in our life na leo ningependa kuzungumzia bitter pastor lawrence it is dangerous to pastor a church of bitter people there are people who are bitter with church because waliteswa na kanisa there are people who are bitter with pastors there are people who are bitter about money and you wonder why people behave the way they behave sisi ni watu wabaya they are bitter and where there is bitterness don't be surprised pride is always where is always there people who are bitter why are we bitter we justify our condition then you quickly so many people are bitter because life has not been pleasing life has been sour in our taste is not what we got life there has been sorrow and anger there are things that did not happen the way we wanted and that one leaves us bitter and when bitter people come to church they make the church bitter do you know there are people when they go in a place they make it worse than they found it and they don't know actually people who are bitter don't know they are bitter bitter people are bitter but they, there are people here who are bitter with their father there are people who are bitter with their mothers there are people who are bitter with their past and when people are bitter let me tell you they are poisonous and you will never know they are poisonous most of the things people stop doing in church is not because of the devil somebody just told them kwani wewe ndio unikorogoa kwa kanisa kwani wewe ndio lazima utoe fungu la 10 kwani wewe tu ndio lazima utumike and you wonder why is it that so many people don't even love serving god they met a snake that was bitter na ikawaambia kitu kwaambia wewe chunga hiyo kanisa si roho yako wanataka ni pesa zako wanafanya namna gani wanataka why there are so many people who don't go to church because where they were sa- walinyanganya ya pesa ni kweli gesi ilikuja tukaambia watu na hiyo ndio sasa shida ya kanisa mtabarikiwa mtapata mabibi 
Mtapata mabwana Ye njili ni njili mzuri Lakini ni njili ya kitoto We are not coming When people come to worship God With worship you take something to God You don't go and take Like Anisa imekua Mutapata magari Na mashamba Na mabibi Na pesa Na wakizipata Wana kaka kanisani What happens? They leave the church. Then you begin wondering. Huyu ndugu tu mzuri Masindi alikuwa anakuja kanisa anakaa. Ni nini ilimtoa? Pastor anaanza kuna ni dhambi gani alifanya? Kumbe ndugu alikuwa bitter. We in the church we've got people who have been divorced. Ama kweli ama sikweli. Kuna wengine walibeba na bibi akapeba kila kitu. Wengine mabwana walibeba kila kitu. Wengine mzee akakuacha na watoto na akaenda akachukua mail. Does that leave you sweet and smiling? is bitterness and when people are bitter you will discover there is no excitement in life pastor lawrence you wonder why uibada mnajaribu ikuwe mzuri watu ni wazito there are people here wameibiwa wengine waliambiwa na ndugu ama dada ama rafiki ndugu niweke tu si kimecha hapa nichukue loan akachukua loan akahepa when you umebaki unalipa mtumi bitter how many people have used us misused us abused us in life and why are we dealing with these issues these things make god cannot dwell now mungu amekusudia steve and his idea somewhere in my life i might not know it today but he's a destiny connector to me pastor Lawrence is a destiny connector to me pastor you are a destiny connector to me god puts people in your life for a re- for a reason but one of the things is that when you are bitter is that even the people that god sent to help you will do what run away because you are bitter and let me tell you don't keep a company of bitter people there are people who are bitter with god bitter with the church bitter with their life bitter with the things that have happened have you not seen even parents who are bitter with their children and there are also parents children who are also bitter with their parents and these people now pastor do you see the way sometimes we pa- we pastor poisonous people poison you know that huyu amefanywa huyu amefanywa na watu wenye wame, people who are bitter don't behave like they are bitter actually they behave they, they are very gentle sio kama unajua hivyo they are very cool very calm but inside them there is an anger that is not normal na nakwambia sisi tunakuaga hivyo ni ya kwetu kumbe hiyo ni asili ya shetani ameweka ndani yako ambayo anatumia kuharibu kile ambacho Mungu amekusudia may you never be caught in the trap of bitterness i have seen pastors who are preaching out of bitterness churches that were begun out of bitterness i've seen people who got married to the wrong people because they wanted to prove the other person wrong out of bitterness but when that's why unashindwa kwa nini most of the things that happen in our life keep on reoccur reoccurring is because bitterness has never been dealt with may you deal with your bitterness today because bitterness will separate you from the best friends the bible says a bitter man does not keep friends kwa nini kanisani sisi marafiki we are bitter mungu tu akiona steve tu ameona hivi anasema huyu anaringana si unaona vile si unaona hata vile amenona na ukiwa tena umekonda anasema wewe ni mgonjwa na watu tu wa just bitter ukiambiwa tu usimame tu hapo utoe matangazo unasikia yeye ndio kipele mbele and you see some most of the comments we make they are not out of it's because we are bitter they are people you kuna wasichana walikaa kuolewa na matajiri wakaolewa na maskini na kuna watu walikuwa maskini walikaa kuolewa na matajiri life ikawakata wakakuja kanisani they are bitter and they don't know they are bitter I have seen people who are bitter. Mungu akikuona na kitu na gari mzuri, ah hiyo wapi? Itagongo kwa gari. Huko tuna bibi mzuri, ah huyo tu atakuacha. You wonder why and it is in the church. Kumbe these are bitter people. Pastor let me give you advice today. Never make anybody a leader in your church before you know where they are coming from and what made them live where they are coming from. Because bitter people will create bitterness. And where bitter people are, there is no peace. They will always quarrel. And there are people who will quarrel even when there is no reason to quarrel. Why do they have quarreling? Is because the bitterness is poison. And when a snake bites you, poisonous irritates. 
poison irritates. And that's why you see there are people in church who are always irritated. You teach on righteousness, they will be irritated. Teach on money, they will be irritated. Teach on diligence, they will be irritated. And you wonder, why all this irritation? The problem is not your message. You are dealing with the people who are poisonous. They are bitter. Uh, they are never blessed with anything. Bitter people never see anything good. Yeah. There are even people who are bitter right now. Kwanini nimekuja na hii pointer. There are people who are bitter. Kwanini ya kuvasu tia black. There are people who are bitter. Kwanini ya ubiri kwa hii pulpu tia hapa. There are people who are bitter. Kwanini ya wajaka hapa mbele. There are people who are bitter. Kwanini walipika yegori ya wagu pika mokimo. There are people who are just bitter. Today may the Lord deliver you from bitterness. In Ukali, you know, so many marriages are breaking in the church. People are annoyed with one another. It's because of what? Bitterness. There are people here who are bitter with their relatives. It's true your relatives will not take care of you, but that was not their responsibility. Thank God for what they have done. You are where you are, with or without them. Bitterness. Nani moyo wanani apa is not bitter. Who is not bitter? Na hiyo sasa naweza nikwambia kitu cha ajabu na nyoka. Nyoka ikishauma mtu inamwaga sumu. Sumu ya nyoka ikiingia kwa damu inapenda sana damu. What happens? Inaanza kufu? Inaanza kufa nini? Kufura. Inafura. Hivi ndio nyoka wewe inaua mtu. Inafura, unafura. Do you know kanisani kuna watu wamefura? Kwa kwaya hawatoshei. Kwa asha hawatoshei. Kwa maombi hawatoshei. Unashindwa they never do anything. Kumbe wamefura. They are oversize. Ukiwapeleka kwa kanisa kubwa hawatoshei. Kwa ndogo hawatoshei. Why are you saying why? There are people hawato. They wamefura ameolewa bado amefura ni singo bado amefura kuna anafanya biashara amefura akiajiriwa kazi amefura na there is nobody here who will say he is not bitter at something or somebody people have done me very bad things and i discovered god is the one that sent them to show me how bitter i was sometimes you meet people and you want to be like them isn't it ukikutana na mtu mlisoma na yeye Unakuta wewe yako na gari yako na kampuni yake wewe bado umeajiriwa. Do you feel good? Mtu anakuuliza where is he, where, where have you parked? Na ulikuja na mguu. How do you feel? Don't you are you not left bitter? Unakaa chini mnaangalia na hii kanisa yetu. Mna wewe anaambia pastor wewe wewe unafikiri uko na kanisa? Hii kanisa I pastor doctors and lecturers. Sasa hawa tu watu wapi? You will be bitter and so many people are bitter. That's why I told them to give you a time they are bitter. Wamefura. You tell them come for the prayer meeting they don't attend. Is that why? Unless we deal with the bitterness in our life, we will keep off even the people that God has sent to do what? To bless us. Bitterness. Bitterness. There are people who are bitter. Tuko wachache. Pastor, what are you doing? There are people who are bitter. Why? Why do they live? Kuna watu wenye wanaishi penye hao wenye hawataki kuishi. It's the circumstances. Forgetting that God has put you there so that you can deal with bitterness in your heart and discover promotion does not come from the east or the west. It is God who promotes. Humble yourself in the mighty hand of God and in due season. God will do what? Lift you up. Kama leo unaishi kwa nyumba ya kukodesha, osha hiyo nyumba, tengeneza kama ni yako, make it clean because soon God is going to bless you with your what? Your own house. But when you are bitter, I have seen people in the church that are bitter. I have seen women that were divorced, bitter. Wanaambia mpaka watoto, wewe huyo baba yako ni shetani, huyo ni malaya. Alafu watoto wanachukia baba yao for no good reason. It is true the, the, their father left them. It, but thank God you have done a good job on them. They are where they are. I have seen people in church who are bitter. I have seen when people are planning their marriages and weddings in church. There are people who will never attend. They will never contribute. They are bitter. Do you know there are people even who are bitter with God? They are bitter with God. Unakaa chini unasema Mungu kwa nini mimi siko I am better than so and so. Let me tell you. I said this week God told Samuel 
Men look at the outside appearance, but God looks at the in the heart, the attitude, bitterness. We are bitter. Some of us, our parents left us. We suffered in the hands of relatives. Some of us, bad things have happened in our life. But if you don't deal with bitterness, it will kill you before your time. Kuna mtu anaitu Absalom. Absalom, baba yake, alifanya akakua very bitter. Dada yake, alichukuliwa. Dada yake, akarajisiwa. And the father did nothing. That left Absalom a very bitter son in his life. That's why Absalom was the person who was always rebelling against who? David. His father. How can a son be plotting to dethrone his father? Yet, he is the one who is supposed to take what? The throne. Bitterness. And let me tell you something. Be careful of the companies we keep. Ahithophel, who was the greatest advisor of David, was actually the grand child of Uriah the Hittite. Can you imagine? And he became here. And he was having. Do you know you can, be, you can have people in a company or in an office or even in a family but they are bitter with you? And you wonder why? People are so bitter. I've been wondering. Kwa nini kanisani yakuna upendo? Kwa nini watu wa sipendana kanisani kama ba? Ay, ay, ay. Ukienda kwa bada za zingine you feel more comfortable kuliwa kanisani. Because unapendwa. Kumba the devil knows. The church is where people are saved. But bitter with salvation. They are bitter. They are bitter. People, the Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Why are people not happy in church? Unaona hata hiyo gari itamuua. Ukiona vile mimi naenda natembea saa zingine usiku naona vile wa levi. Enda mahali kuna baa. Magari ni nyingi kuliko kanisa. Sijui kama mshejua hiyo kitu. Na, eh, do you know so many times pastors are bitter? Kwa nini hao watu mlipokuwa kabla ya mjao koka mlikuwa mnatawala mnakunywa pose mnakunywa hapa mmekuja kanisani amtoi kitu i have even seen a pastor friend of mine because of bitterness alihubiri alafu akaangalia sadaka akamwaga akamwambia kila mtu kila mtu akichukua alikuwa amekota do you know you can be a pastor and be a bitter pastor do you know you can be a husband and be a bitter husband do you know you can be a wife and be bitter even if there are people who are bitter with their careers you became a teacher when you wanted to become a doctor you became a doctor when you wanted to become an engineer. There are so many people who are bitter. May the Lord deliver us from bitterness. God does not dwell in the hearts of bitter people. Amen. 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 But there is no bitterness among ourselves. Rather than to have a group of people who are bitter. Why is the rebellion in churches? Why do people walk out in a church after being there for 20, 30 years? And when they leave, they fight their pastor. The pastor fights them back and they have been saved. And I realized, they came in church. We baptized them. Got Holy Ghost filled. Got in commitment classes. Served God. But they never dealt with what? Bitterness. There is nobody here who has never been offended by somebody or something. The question is, what have you done about it? What have you done about it? People are bitter. Kuna watu mulieza nao biyashara. Wee biyashara yako imeanguka. Yao imefaulu. Kuna watu watoto wavu are doing good, better than you. And that is life. Life, all of us will never begin on the same plate. We will never finish on the same slate. God has a plan for every body. Do you know you can even be bitter when somebody leaves this church? Do you know, Pastor, one of the things that bind churches from growing are the members inside that church. If, a, if somebody was a member of this church and he left, it's because he was not one of us. He was not one? When you see people leave you, separate from you, suck you where you are, what, it's just that God is telling you, now I try to one day to Pastor, you need to teach this and teach it a lot. Since kama wanadamu took on a weakness, when we get a soft spot, a soft spot in people's heart, we clean. Kabisa, eh? we cling to them. They become part of our life. Ukipata mtu mwenye na kupeyaga ilifutano ama ilifukumi kila muwezi, Alafu atoke aende. Utaruhusu aende. Huyo atawaa miwa. Ndiyo wa ubiri wengi mtu akitoka kwa kanisa yao na mlaani. Sasa tu yeye ndio mbaya ni chakula ilionda. Sasa ni bitterness ndani anajifanya ni. Do you know we can prophesy out of bitterness? 
have seen when you see somebody with a crowd and ndio nimekuja kushangaa how many people have got crowds and they don't have anything to tell them wewe uko na substance hauna mtu akuambia it can make you bitter i pray today don't be bitter with your past don't be bitter with god don't be bitter with your business don't be bitter with your children don't